Hey guys, welcome back to another Unbiased Magic Review, the place where you come to for honest, unbiased reviews of magic products that you're probably thinking about buying. Today, I've got a special mentalism product to review for you. This is Deadlock by MindFX and Michael Murray. And does it open? No. Of course it doesn't. Because I'm telling you now that the number, the initial combination that you locked in your mind is the combination that opens that lock. Now you can do one of two things. You can either believe me, try that into the lock, and it will indeed open it, or you can try four other random digits. What do you want to do? Um, try four random digits. Okay, so we'll put a random digit in the first position, and the second position. And then the third position, you're all making these different to yep. the numbers that you chose before, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, go all the way through and then uh, try the lock. No? Yeah. Now, there's only 9,998 combinations left to try. Uh, because I'm telling you now that that initial four digit combination that you thought of, that is the combination that's set in the lock. Okay. If you don't believe me, you can either try it or you can try four random digits, it's up to you. Um. No, do you want me to try the data? That is up to you. Now, of course, if I do get this right, this is almost akin to guessing somebody's bank account PIN number or maybe it's the access code to their uh, mobile. In other words, it's a one in 10,000 chance. But please, if that's what you're doing, pop in the day that you were thinking of, followed by the month, and you will find that that does indeed open the lock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is a pin divination effect that uses a combination lock. So um, for your $50, what you're going to get from MindFX is you're going to get a combination lock that's gimmicked, and you're also going to get um, a 30-minute uh, streaming video instructional from Michael Murray. Now, the lock comes in three different sizes. It comes in a small, medium, and a large. They suggest the largest for stage performances. This is the medium size, and it comes in two different types. One is either the US version, or the other version is the United Kingdom version, based on where you live in the world. You may have a, you know, you may want one over the other. Um, and so, the lock looks just like a regular lock. And if you are familiar with this type of effect, you may have seen like Alan Wong's Dream Lock, which is similar to this, except the principle is slightly different, although it's similar in terms of the methods. Um, and so I think Michael Murray has taken this and he's done some thinking and he's reworked the effect overall. So um, just to let you guys know, MindFX, they boast that this has the most sales than any other mentalism product that they've put out. And I can see why. I really can. And I'm going to go over just some of the really big uh, things about it. So there's two main versions of the effect. So one version is that you tell your spectator that you've put a combination in here and you want them to try to read your mind. And you tell them, just come up with a four-digit number and, you know, just we'll see how you... So they come up with a, a random four-digit number and they can't get it to open. So then you tell them you're going to send them the combination mentally. So basically you have the spectator be the mind reader. And so you tell them, do you want to try the number that you just came up? You know, when you send it to them, then they tell you what they think. And you say, that's it. That's exactly the right combination. It's going to seem like crazy. And you tell them, do you want to put the combination that I sent you? Or do you want to put a random combination in there? And the great thing is that they can spin this around. And, and this is all in their hands, right? They can spin this around, they can put in a different combination, and it's not going to open. And that's great. And then it won't be until they put in the actual combination that you sent them, and it will open. And so there's nothing stronger than magic in the spectator's hands, and that is very, very strong. So that's one main presentation version. The other version is that you can have them send you a four-digit pin, meaning you have them think of a four-digit pin, they mentally send it to you, and then you tell them you're gonna set the combination to that, to the number that you got from them mentally. And then you give it to them, and you tell them, hey, I want you to try four totally different digits that are different from what you sent me, and it won't open. 
And you could even tell them, let's try a couple other random numbers and you'll see it will not open. And then it's not until they put in the number that they mentally were thinking of and that they sent to you, then it opens. So it totally destroys people. I mean, I can't emphasize this enough. This is very, very strong. Um, and it's very well made because if you look at it, it looks like just what it is. It's just a lock. You know, a lot of magic and mentalism products, they don't look normal. And this definitely looks normal. This looks like any combination lock that you can pick up at the hardware store, which is great, you know? So the other thing you're gonna get with this is you're gonna get access to a Facebook uh, deadlock group, which is nice because they have a bunch of performances there they, and other people give other like ideas, you know, routine ideas and stuff on there. So it's really nice. So that's another good thing. Um, I will tell you guys that this is the beginning of other things is what I think. I consider this to be the start of other things and the reason is because you, if you buy this, you will see that this will segue into other type of mental routines. Um, and like I'll give you some examples, like I always ask the spectator for their, like a personal object, like a key or their ring, and I actually open up the lock and I, I lock it on here. So it makes it more interesting that they have to try to get their ring back off of my lock. So that's what that definitely makes it interesting. Another aspect that I'm sharing with you guys, because you guys tune into my videos here, is that if you do own the TAP app, or if you decide to buy the TAP Magic app, and you can get access to their Facebook user group, Michael Murray actually shares his Deadlock TAP project on there. And so the lovely part about that is what that does is that enables you to have further proof that you knew of the four digit number they would think of, the four digit pin. And that's mind boggling really, especially as spectators. In some ways you may even think that that's overkill, but I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say that the four digit pin is one, two, three, four. Now, with the TAP app, once they open the lock, you can say, I knew that that was gonna be the four digit pin that you were gonna think of. And they may say, yeah, right. And you say, no, really. And you can open up your phone, and because of the, the TAP app, it enables you to open up your phone, go to your, your photos, and you can show that you have a photo of the lock opened, and you can zoom in, and you can show them that it has the combination one, two, three, four on it, or whatever combination was. And that's because of that magic app that and the project that Michael Murray shared for free. He shared that for free with, with everybody that owned that. So that's just another layer of deception that's just added on. Again, it's more mind melting totally. So it really does add to lots of things. And this opens doors to further mentalism ideas and stuff. So besides the two main routines that you get on there, you also get a bonus idea that he goes over like a bonus routine idea where you can make it seem like you knew the four digits even before they touched the lock because you were already revealing some of the digits and it's like a type of propless mentalism that he reviews. That's really great, it really is. So just to sum up for you guys, this product gets my highest recommendation and I'm gonna tell you guys why. Because the benefits of this are unbelievable. This is beginner level, literally, to perform this. It's magic in their hands, super easy and portable. It's definitely small and packs big. I mean, this is strong for one person or 50 people all at the same time. And it's so easy to perform. There's no difficulty to this. This is beginner level. I mean, it really is, especially because the teaching on the video is incredible. It's like top of the line. And so you'll easily understand how to perform with this you, there's no way you could screw it up yourself, which is great. And, um, you know, this is definitely something that you're going to find yourself using all the time. I'm using this all the time, so i am always got it with me in my bag, so it's ready to go. Um, so it's definitely all of those things. For disadvantages, I guess maybe just the price that is $50 for a lock. But remember, you're getting a gimmick lock and you're getting also some routine ideas and you're getting access to the Facebook uh, group as well. So I think it's well worth the $50, really. I mean, how often do we spend money on magic that ends up in the bottom drawer, you know? I mean, this definitely, for me, this is quite likely the best mentalism effect of the year almost, it really is. I mean, when they open that lock in their hands, ooh, 
it's just unbelievable. It really is. It's just it's um it's just you have to just see it for yourself to believe it. Just how strong this really is. Um, and so uh, it doesn't really have any negatives in my own mind. I really can't come up with anything negative about it. I think that this just really was well thought out. Um, and so um, if you guys have any questions about this or any of the magic or mentalism that I review, just leave me a comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my magic reviews. And if there is anything that you want me to review, uh, please just leave me a message if I have the product, if I've used it, um, if I've experienced with it, then I gladly I will review it for you guys. So that's it for today, you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you're having a great weekend.